in this scene you will see the baby delivered by a certified nurse midwife the midwife is using placental resuscitation she allows the cord to stop pulsing before she invites the father to cut the cord the infant will then be wrapped up and handed to the father to take to the mother okay students our patient has gotten complete and we are going to allow her to start pushing and we're going to have a delivery here whenever you feel the urge you can push now Dan, I want you to take her hand there and encourage her when she feels like pushing. Betty, any time now. Okay, honey, it's time to push. Good, good, Betty, keep going. When you, good job, good job. When you feel the urge, you just bear down. Remember, you're trying to bear down like you're going to have a bowel movement. What are we going to name this baby, do you know? Depends on girl or boy, Dad? Yes. What's the girl's name? Uh, Brandy. Brandy. Alright, if we have a boy? Brandy. Michael. Oh, Michael, okay. Yeah. Alright. We're starting to see the baby coming. See some hair. Okay. Good job, Betty. Good job. You're doing well, honey. That's a good job. Alright. Give you a little pressure down here so we don't get tears. Good job. You're doing great, Betty. You really are. Oh, I see the face coming. Yeah, I can see the baby. One more, one more. Okay, now we need easy pushes, easy pushes, easy pushes. Okay. Easy, easy. Feel nauseated, that's normal. Yeah, don't, 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 don't push, don't push. It's okay, honey, it's okay. Almost there. It's almost there. It's coming. Oh, it's a girl. It's a girl. So it's going to be Brandy. She's just beautiful. Now we're just going to let her be down here and get all her placental blood and oxygen. And she is pretty. Dad, can you see her? Yes, I can see her. Mama, can you sit up a little bit and see her? She is just beautiful. Now, Dad, do you want to cut the cord? Yes. Okay, I see you got your gloves on. You're going to just cut between the clamps I put on here. Hang on. Okay. Wait until... Let since, me know. Yeah, you... we waited until the cord stopped pulsing, so... Okay. Okay. And then you can just cut right there. Okay. Just gonna cut right here. Okay. All righty. All right. Let me just wrap her up and give her to you. Now, students, after the baby has delivered, we still the midwife has to deliver the placenta. So to place the baby up with mom and dad for some bonding time while we're waiting on that is a perfectly acceptable way to handle it. It gives the baby a chance to be back up near the mother's heartbeat that they've heard for nine months. And this calms the baby and gets them their respiration and their heart rate back in the range that we wanted after a delivery. Okay, Brandy. I am going to use a bulb syringe to make sure that her airway is clear. You begin by depressing it to start with we do the nares first, and then, if necessary, then we uh, suction out the mouth. The next thing we check is that the security band is on. 
and in a real hospital they have very expensive systems that they use to keep infants secure. Uh, in our little hospital we just use a name tag. The next thing you do is take an overall look at the baby. You want to notice respirations. Is she having any retractions? Is she breathing easily? If she's crying, that's a great way to know that she's, she's breathing. And then we are going to get a set of vital signs. The first and foremost would be the temperature, which we do axillary. Take your thermometer and turn it on, and then it goes underneath the baby's arm. Put the thermometer against the long axis of the baby and hold it there until it's finished. We want the temperature to be 97.5 or a little higher than that, up to 98.5 to 99 is acceptable. And then we need to get the respiratory rate. Again, if the baby's crying, that's not a good time to do that. You have to wait till it calms down a little bit. And then uh, you can get it by feeling the abdomen or watching the rise and fall. S on some babies, that's not so very obvious. It's also perfectly acceptable to do that using the stethoscope. We want to listen in four quadrants. The lungs are so small that that's usually quite sufficient. And we can listen on the front and the back supporting the baby's head. The next thing we listen to is the baby's heart rate. Sometimes on a newborn, the heart rate can obscure the respirations. And if you find that to be the case, listen to the lungs on the right side especially. Get most of your count on the right side and just listen to the left for assessment purposes. And then when you want to get the uh, heart rate, listen for a full minute. Respirations and heart rate are assessed for a full minute on infants and uh, listen in the place where you would expect to find the heart rate. Normal is 110 to 160, and if you're not expecting that, that can be a little bit, a bit of a surprise, but we should hear it about twice as fast as what you would expect from an adult. Again then, before you're finished, make sure that the baby's breathing carefully. Um, notice the nares, if there's any nasal flaring, notice the uh, sternal, area to see if there's any retractions and what we're looking for at this point is the baby's color to become pinker and pinker. We expect a little bit of blueness in the hands and feet known as acrocyanosis to begin with but that should disappear before too long. After being carefully monitored in the labor and delivery suite, Betty, Dan and Brandy were transferred to the postpartum unit. Betty's postpartum nurse Cheryl assessed Betty's post-delivery transition.